<laughs> what are you, what are your fans like? Because the last, I can imagine, I can, I can kind of a guess. I can imagine because be, being in those kind of audiences, like it's kind of weird. Do, do your fans mosh? Yeah, yeah, so, we do. The, it depends on the t- on the area, but yes, <laughs> the, the the mosh pitting fans. And like I was at a festival with my brother recently because he really likes that screamo music. So we saw like Baroness play and like music, yeah. music like that. The people look very scary, but they are the nicest people, the most friendliest, cordial, sharing, giving people. You would ever use mm-hmm. surprising. So are your fans kind of more that crowd or more the pop punk mosh crowd? And like, what are, what are your fans like? We have the most amazing fans in the world. Honestly, Will, I, oh, the people that we've met through doing music and the people that I've met and who have supported me and things like that. I have fans who like, I've gone to their birthday parties. I, we have a fan who we met her back in, I think 2014. And she used to come to our shows at chain reaction in Anaheim. Um, She is going to be moving out of town and uh, she's moving to Texas. And she invited me to her going away party. And it's just like, I never imagined they always say that music unifies people Mm -hmm. and that you'll meet so many new people if you're in music and if you're a musician and if you just love music. And I I was always kind of like introverted and a little scared of meeting new people. And I never imagined that I would know this entire community of people who were just unified by the common love of music. And I mean, that's how I met my husband. It's how I met some of my best friends. I, I have a music degree and my best friends are all musicians and, and it's the same for fans of music. And that love of music is so pure that you just, you can see that purity in a person. You can see that love in a person. And also it's the cool thing about it is you can tell what a person's gone through by the kind of music that they love. Mm -hmm. And for us, that was especially true. We are my last EP that I released with MXI it was all about self-love. There's a song on there. Um, and this is an entirely different story. That's a long time, (laughs) but there is an acoustic ballad that I wrote on our last EP. It's called the best revenge. Um, and the song on there is called Bella's song. And I wrote that about my younger sister. Her name is Bella, but she got sucked into the community of like tumblr and self-harm and anxiety suicide depression she struggled with a lot of those mental issues when she was very young um and so we wrote a song for her and by the time the song came out she had conquered that battle a little bit but that song we've heard from so many people has helped so many people as they battle depression as they battle anxiety as they battle self-harm and there are bands who dedicate their entire careers to helping people with those kinds of mental battles. There's one band in particular that I love. They're called Icon for Hire. Um, pretty much all their songs, a, at least a very good percentage of their songs, is about helping people, is about like facing your fears and facing yourself and becoming true to yourself. And so especially being in that like very niche part of the metal community. We met some really incredible people who were overcoming impossible things. I remember one of our fans, his his name was Michael. Um, he has he has actually passed away a couple of years ago, but he was dealing with a very rare form of cancer. And he loved our music. We met him at shows. He he came to, you know, all the shows he could. And we communicated with him through social media. And I remember one of the last conversations we had, he told me that our music had made a difference and that he was so thankful to have met us. And he was such a great soul, such a such a wonderful person. But just like getting to have those connections, getting to know people who have gone through difficult things like more difficult things than i could ever imagine it's made such an impact on me and it makes an impact on other people and i just think that spreading that light to as many people as you can through music it's one of the most important things that you could do with your life it's it's amazing it's also very important to have a connection with your audience um you know i do a bunch of podcasts my audience is kind of all over the place my definitely the closest connection i have is with my wrestling audience, my wrestling fans uh, in my Discord oh, yeah. channel. And one of the coolest things I've ever done was bring a fan 
on this podcast, someone who's listened to me for years. I mean, he's been on my wrestling podcast a few times, but I brought him here, talked to him one-on-one. Uh, Mr. Fretz, shout out to Mr. Fretz. Love you, man. Um, and it's just weird. It's awesome hearing their stories, like, you know, how they find you, what they like about your stuff and all that kind of yeah. things. So I know you had a podcast, and if you do bring that back and when you bring that back, I would highly encourage you to find a fan and just get them on and just talk about music, passion, and all that stuff because it's going to come across as something completely different than like just, a, oh, you know, you have a song coming out. Tell me about it. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. And I think we, especially in America, we place so much value on creators, mm -hmm. on people, you know, entrepreneurs and people who start businesses and people who make art and make music and make, you know, people who make things. And I think one thing that COVID has taught me especially is that it's okay to just be like, it's okay to just exist and consume and become a better person and not have to create, not have to produce, not have to have your hobby consist of something that makes money. I think mm -hmm. one of the most beautiful things, and like you were saying about, about fans, about people who just consume what you're making and they, you know, they listen to what you're doing. Those are, I, I think a lot of the people who listen to my music are way better people than I am. <laughs> I think that they are, you know, they've led such interesting, such amazing and such inspiring lives. And I am inspired by people who I don't like calling them fans. I like calling them friends, but mm -hmm. you know, who would people who would consider themselves a fan. I'm inspired by so many of those people and it takes a lot more bravery to do some of the things that they do than for me to just sing, you know? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Well, I've, I've listened yeah. to your stuff over the past week. I've done, done my homework on you and I can consider myself a fan now. So that's, Aww. that's very exciting. But 